हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज प्रशांत चौधरी आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल क्लासिक पावर ऐप दिस इज द एपिसोड सेवन ऑफ दिस पावर ऑटोमेट बिगनेस सीरीज इन द लास्ट सम वीडियोस वी हैव कवर्ड द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फ्लोज विद देयर एग्जांपल्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन चेक द रन हिस्ट्री शेयरिंग एंड चेंजिंग द कनेक्शंस ऑफ आवर फ्लोज सो for the sake of your knowledge i can just tell you that the if you are using instant flows instant flows runs on the person who is actually triggering that flow but except that the automated flows are using the credentials whose credentials are added in the added version of this flow so i'm just navigating to my screen so here we are on the power automate home screen so first focus is where from where we can check whether our flow is succeeded has failed or we would like to see the run histories we'll go with the flow and we'll search our flow get item here we can see we have the option of sharing our flow save as save as you is used to duplicate your flow if you would like to do some modification but you have the doubt whether your flow would run or not so and in that case you can make the duplicate of this flow using the save as delete run send a copy template and export these are the turn off features so in order to get the run history you can just scroll down a bit and here is the op option from where you can just check the run history all run history and this is the place where you can see all the history of the flow which has actually triggered and with their status whether they are succeeded where they where they have failed or where they are still in the running phase if your flow is has gone to the infinite loop at that time the status would be in the running stage only if your flow has failed due to any reason maybe any mismatching of data type or maybe any type of error has come so in that case you will find the status to be failed and you you don't get the work that you want your flow to be done in that case that work would be undone only okay so from here you can get the run history of your flows if you would like to share your flow with other users you need to just click on the share and there you need to just write uh, the username let's say i would like to sh share it with my dev user as only this connection is i have used in my flow so it is giving that the this connection can be used of the development of the dev of my dev users so i'll simply on this okay and here i get the member in the list that this flow has shared with this user as well okay so if that user would open the flows he would get that flow and he can also edit that flow okay so that's how we can actually share our flow now the time is how we can actually configure how can we can change the connection of the flow so if you would like if you see that if we go with the edit mode there is a option of create item okay and if i go with the list every list has some columns that are not visible but they are actually there like if i show you that columns edit current view because whenever you do any type of modification or event type any type of insertion in your database everything is captured somewhere okay from this modified by modified on created by and created on okay if you see in the created by the timing created by prashant choudhary modified by timing and modified by prashant choudhary it means whenever you do a, you are doing any type of modification in database you would be tracked as simple so but in case of flow we haven't did anything we haven't wrote our name at any place then how it got to know that i have created this items so in the in this particular component there is a option of this three dots and here there is a option 
from where you can add the connections that would be used if i use other users connection let's say if that if like this flow has shared with my dev user if i try to open this user from a dev account i can change that connection to the dev user and save the flow so whenever that flow would be triggered in that case created by and modified by would be the dev user not the prashant choudhury okay so that's how we can actually change the connections the reason is why there is a need to change the connection so sometimes system needs to send the notification and system needs to send the send the notification that the notification is coming from the hr side so in that case what the developers do developers simply create the flow and where the flow is sending the mail they simply change the connection of that particular component so that it would use the hr's credentials so whenever the mail would be sent hr credential would be used so in that case the mail would come from the hr side okay so th that is the reason we we need to understand this connection reference in our power automate flows but this connection would not work for the instant type of flows because instant type of flows runs on the current user context who is actually triggering that flow but you can use that you can use the predefined context or the setted context in case of automate type of flows or the scheduled type of flows okay so that is all in this video everyone that run history how you can check the history of your all runs of your flow sharing how can you can you can share the flow with other users of the organization the connection how you can change the connection of any component let's say you you have used any component that you don't have the access but your partner has the access so you can use the your partner's credentials at that particular stage of okay so that's how we can change all this stuff so thank you everyone for this video for watching this video we'll meet on the next video okay so let's get stay tuned and we'll see what what is there in the next video okay thank you everyone